What really happened to O.D. Perry? So here is a news article on O.D. Perry from the Chicago Tribune. And it says, a 20-year-old man was shot and killed near the sprawling Parkway Gardens housing complex on the south side, police said this morning. The man suffered multiple gunshot wounds, including one to the neck at about 11.35 p.m. Wednesday in the 400 block of East 64th Street, police said, citing early information. Police initially gave the address of the shooting as the 6400 block of South King Drive. Police temporarily shut down several surrounding streets as detectives conducted their investigation, a witness said. The man, O.D. Perry, of the 10900 block of South Racine Avenue, was taken to Straga Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 12.18 a.m. Thursday, according to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Police didn't immediately have information on how the shooting occurred. From here, we're going to go to the police report. And here's a part of the police report. At the top, it says, Perry O.D., male, black, 20 years old, birthplace, Illinois, and at the bottom, it says Barnes Jakira, female, black, 22 years old, residence, 8048 South Shore Drive, Chicago, Illinois, organization, Gangster Disciples. And over here at the top, it says Stuart Rodney, Boss Trail, male, black, 21 years old, residence, 6347 St. Lawrence, Chicago, Illinois, organization, Gangster Disciples. And right here, it says Victim Injuries, Perry O.D., Type gunshot, weapon use, firearm type unknown, weapon description, other handgun, extent fatal, injured by offender, Chicago Fire Department provided first aid, CFD responding unit, ambulance 55, hospital Cook County, physician named Dr. Wiley, transported to Perry OD, the victim, transported to Cook County, 401 East 64th Street, Chicago, Illinois, date and time of incident, 10th of August, 2011, and here it says, crime code summary, 0110, homicide, first degree murder, incident gang information, gang situation turf, targeted gang, black disciples, IUCO associations, 0110, homicide, first degree murder, Stuart Rodney, suspect, who was boss trail. And at the bottom, Perry OD, victim. And right here it says, victim, OD Perry, male, 20 years old at the time of death, date of birth, 1991, Gang, Black Disciples, Parkway Gardens Faction, now known as O Block in honor of O.D. Perry. And beneath it says injuries. One gunshot wound entered from left side of neck, exited left shoulder. One gunshot wound through and through to left buttock. And right here in this paperwork it says weapon, probably 9mm handgun, 9mm shell casings recovered from the scene. Vehicle used, unknown, gray, silver sedan, manner, motive. Offenders approached victim who was on bicycle and shocked the victim. Gang conflict. And at the bottom, evidence. 211 scene. 12 expended RP 9mm Luger shell casings at 6401 SMLK. And beneath that it says, one blood swab taken from the ground at 6358 SMLK. One blood card, one bag of the victim's bloody clothing, one POD video recording. So they seen this stuff on video, which means there wasn't no crowd walking to O Block to go look for the ops or look for whoever's out there. It simply said it was a vehicle, they shot him off the bike, which means it was just a normal hit, which doesn't mean that it wasn't took a day. It could have been took a day, but it probably didn't happen the way how everyone says it happened when they make videos about the situation. You know, it's a crowd, they drunk, they happy, they go looking for someone on old block. But this one stays different. It was a regular drive-by shooting. And I guess when he fell, they jumped out, they finished the job, got back in the vehicle and left. Simple as that. That's how this police report is making the scenes. So I don't know who started this, you know, 20 people went to Old Block, Wooski, Duck, all the GDs, you know, 20 people walking with their guns out, looking for war. So that could have been a lie. 
O.D. Perry was a loved gang member from Wick City who younger gang members looked up to. People like Vaughn and T-Roy always wanted to be like O.D. Perry, which is why they was going so hard as gang members. It was people like O.D. Perry who taught the old block shorties how to move and do hits. He was the older cousin of Boss Top. He was close to Boss Top, E-Dog, Sheroid, Trey Five, and BJ. At the time of his death, everyone was heartbroken and wanted to keep his name alive, which is why they renamed Wick City to O Block in memory of O.D. Perry. O.D. Perry protected his neighborhood, which is why he was so loved by O Block. The same as T. Roy, which is why they formed the Get Back Gang after the death of T. Roy. The people in Parkway Gardens felt safe whenever O.D. was there because they knew he always had a gun on him and he wasn't afraid to use it. If anyone was to go there looking for trouble. After the death of OD, people was giving KI credit for it. And not only people who are fans of KI, but other GDs as well. And even people from her own set. Whenever people from your set or gang is giving you credit for something that happened, then it usually means that it's true. And you're the person who done it, which is what happened in the KI situation with OD. What has also happened that made everyone believe that K.I. was the killer in the O.D. Perry case is that she have uploaded a pic with his nickel plated revolver after the shooting. The death of O.D. Perry had made O'Block look weak for the simple fact that the rumor was going around that he got killed by a teenage girl. It's rumored that O.D. Perry had multiple bodies under his belt. So for him to be taken out by a young girl was a devastated blow and not only to his reputation but to his gang as well. Some people started saying that K.I. 
wasn't the one who killed OD. And she was false claiming bodies that wasn't hers. The reason why anyone would do something like that is to get a reputation in the streets. And so people can know you are dangerous. MOB members was trying to say that KI wasn't responsible for the death of OD. And also, fans of the drill scene were saying the same thing as well. It seems like people didn't want KI to get credit for the body, for whatever reason they may have. One person in particular is Booby, who have posted many times about the OD incident and had said specifically that it was MOB who done the hit. Throughout her posts, she seems to be a little salty and determined to discredit KI for being the hitter on the OD hit. It's been said that she had personal beef with KI, which is why she was talking so bad about her and didn't want anyone to respect her as a gangster. Ruga had also stated in his song, Exposing Me, Remix, by saying, I got some info you would hate to know. And then says, they don't even know who made the O. The names that came up from MOB that was allegedly responsible for killing OD are Scrap and Beans. Numerous people have came out and said either Scrap or Beans from MOB or the ones who killed OD, if not both. Niggas talk that shit, but they don't even know who made the O. During my research, most of the sites that I've checked had mentioned Beans being one of the shooters, along with K.I. After O.D. was killed, K.I. and Beans have made a video dissing O.D., which only confirms that the two have played a part in what took place. It's very common that the people who are responsible for putting in work will take it to social media or make a video mocking the deceased ops. Look, Kenny, you some hoe ass nigga on the G, boy. You got me fucked up on Chi. You know I ain't rocking like that. I never been in lane, but you already know that on Chi. You got me fucked up. You already got your ass smoked. Don't get smoked again, homie. You hear me? 
That why I like you right here. I know how that shit go. Fuck, fuck no OD. Crash. Talking about a fucking Chris Real. Y'all some shorties, man. And cheat. Y'all get me fucked up. And the G, man. It ain't shit to get rid of y'all on the mans. It ain't shit to get rid of y'all. And the G, really. For real. Y'all get me fucked up. OD. And the G, fuck. <laughs> FBG Duck dropped a freestyle video the same night when OD got dropped. And in the video, they are giving big props and respect to MOB. It seems as if they were celebrating a victory by taking out one of their ops. It's very common for people to do either one of three things after scoring on the ops, which is dissing the deceased, saying RIP to the victims of the person that got dropped, and shouting out the gang who are responsible for putting in that work. Shout out MOB, man. What photo, man? What photo, man? Y'all already know, man. Shout out MOB, man. They drill you fuck niggas, man. Fuck Brick City, man. That's how I'm gonna start shooting, G. Fuck the Bricks, man. 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 Fuck all right, so now we're going to jump into the comment section of the video clip that you guys just saw with everyone giving props to MOB. This video was supposedly have been taken, you know, the night after OD Perry had passed. And at top it says, KI smoked OD, then hop in the video, shoot just savage. And beneath, she really did that crazy. And at the bottom it says, I know, huh? LOL. So like I've been saying throughout this whole video, KI was definitely known for being the hitter. But also, Beans is known for being the hitter as well. But more people gave KI credit for what had happened. Although, members from MOB and people who know members from MOB, they were trying to take the credit away from STL and KI. And right here it says, I thought Boss Trail or Lil B did it. Remember the police report I read, it did say Boss Trail was there. So he's allegedly supposed to be one of the shooters as well. And there's people who made videos on this same particular subject saying that Boss Trail was the only one who've done it, that it wasn't KI. And this person has said, the fact that they killed OD just after this, meaning that they decided to shoot a video, you know, have fun, party. It's a celebration. And right here it says, they smacked OD that same night. This is real. And right here someone said, STL killed OD on this day. They done made O Block and Duck drops a freestyle dissing him hours after he died. Sosa and SD also got caught lacking and nearly died this same night too. August 11, 2011 was a hot day. Someone responded and said, KI was such a savage. RIP KI. You see right here again, Beans killed OD, not KI. Beans and KI allegedly done that. And Boss Trail, allegedly Butter, they assisted. They was there as well. But Beans and KI are the two top names that keep popping up out of everybody. That's why they both, you know, took credit for it. MOB and STR. Some people believe that it was Beans who done it, and others believe that it was KI. But it was allegedly them both. The OD hit is what made the Ops fear KI, which is why they will usually run when they see her if they wasn't strapped, because they know she was coming to shoot at them. The BDs wanted KI badly because she dropped OD and a few others. Plus, she was always shooting at them. shouldn't be surprised if more than one gang or set comes together to go after the enemy because that's what 
most gangs do. The way how they look at it is that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And it's the same way how the BDs will come together to score against the GDs. Like for instance, members from O Block 600 and THF will slide on the Ops together if they need to. When Lou Mark from 051 got dropped, there was members from different sets, which was O Block, 600, THF, and Folly Boys, who were there. This story has come to an end and I want to say thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like this video be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment or even share this video with your family and friends.